Good morning, yeah. sixth grade independent station. Go ahead and flip to where it says the geography of Judaism at the top of your page. It says the story of Judaism begins with Abraham. We are going to start learning about a religion called Judaism. This one is monotheistic. Go ahead and write monotheistic at the top because we know that means one God. So to understand the context, this story appears in the Torah and the Old Testament of the Christian Bible. Historians and archaeologists have not found evidence to prove that this story is true, but this is how a story goes according to the Torah, which is the Jewish holy book and the Bible. So here's a story we're going to read about that has to do with the start or the founding of Judaism. The father of the Hebrews was a man named Abraham. Go ahead and circle Abraham. We know he's an important figure in Judaism because he's the one that started it. He was born in a city called Ur in Mesopotamia. People in Ur believed in many gods, so go ahead and annotate what many gods means. But Abraham was the first person to believe in one God. So go ahead and underline this. We know it's a key idea here because it says he was the first person to do something. And that is called monotheism. This belief would set Judaism apart from other religions. So I know that when I read this, the most important thing is that Abraham was the first person to be monotheistic. So go ahead and stop and dot that central idea. He was the first person to believe in one God or monotheistic. Every other religion up until this point, like we saw in Mesopotamia, in ancient Egypt, in Hinduism, had had more than one God. So Abraham's covenant with God. If you don't know the word covenant, we're going to learn it today. According to the Torah, which is the holy book of Judaism, so kind of like how the Bible is the holy book of Christianity, we're looking at the Torah. Abraham had a special relationship with God, and the Israelites were God's chosen people. The Torah says that God visited Abraham when he was an old man. God told him, leave your house, leave your country, and I will show you a new country. God promised him that he would be the leader of a great nation of people. God took him to a place called Canaan. So also go ahead and annotate Canaan because that's a really important part of, uh, that is the holy place of Judaism. So God came here and spoke to Abraham. When Abraham was 99 years old, the Torah says, so again, this is just the belief about how it started, though people in history, historians can't confirm this. When he was 99 years old, the Torah says that God spoke to him again. And God said, I will make a covenant with you. Go ahead and annotate the word covenant. It means an agreement or a deal. So said, all right, I'll make a deal with you. God promised to protect Abraham and his people for generations to follow. God promised that Canaan would always be the land of the Hebrews. In return, Abraham agreed that he and his people would always believe in one God. So that's the deal that they made here. God said, all right, I'll give you protection. I'll protect all your people in this land as long as you always believe in me as the one true God, no others. The Exodus. Many Hebrews had to move away from Canaan because there was a famine or a shortage of food. So hold on, God promised them protection, but then there's a famine that struck this land. All right, let's keep reading and see what this story says. The Israelites headed to Egypt. Life was not good in Egypt. The Pharaoh needed people to build his pyramids and he put them to work for very little pay. But their population grew and the Hebrews became strong. The Hebrews were so strong, the Pharaoh was scared that they might take over Egypt. So to stop this from happening, the Pharaoh made all the Hebrews in Egypt slaves. So again, I read this and I know there's something a little bit confusing here about the promise that God had made and then what ends up happening. So let's keep reading and find out. According to the Torah, a leader named Moses. Okay, so here's another important figure in Judaism because he's a leader in the Torah. Go ahead and annotate that appeared among the Hebrews in Egypt. In the 2000s BCE, God told Moses to lead the Hebrews out of Egypt. He's saying, get out of there. Moses demanded that the Pharaoh release the Hebrews, but the Pharaoh refused. Soon afterward, 10 plagues struck Egypt, sent by God. So they believed that because the people in Egypt were not listening to these demands, God's way of protecting those Hebrew people, like he promised Abraham, was to strike a famine in that place. The plagues frightened the Pharaoh so much that he let the Hebrews go back to Canaan. To the Hebrews, the release from slavery proved that God was watching over them. So I know that this is a really key point here. I'm going to annotate this and say, proves Judaism true. Because the people who were Jewish at the time that listened to Abraham, this moment, the fact that they were released from slavery, was the fulfilling of God's promise that he would protect them. So the story of the Hebrews leaving Egypt is called the Exodus. 
Who was Abraham? Where did he live? Why was he important? Jot down your answer and evidence. What is a covenant? What was a covenant between Abraham and God? Jot down your answer and evidence. Again, you should be pausing and then make sure that you put all evidence in quotation marks. What was the Exodus? And what did this make the Hebrews think? So jot down what the Exodus was and what it thought. And then what is the holy book of Judaism called? Do not complete your exit ticket yet because there's going to be information from the independent station that you need. If you have already been to the independent station, then you can go ahead and do that.